Hi Leo, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you to all of my existing and potential new subscribers. Let's see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you, Leo. Give us a good message for Leo, God. Something fabulous. Don't drop them cards out of my hand. Thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 a lot of people. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's oof. <laughs> Somebody is love and they being, um, this is weird. Angels just said being in loving. You know, what's crazy. I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but I heard somebody doesn't want you to be happy. Somebody doesn't want you to be happy. Somebody doesn't want to move on. Um, this is somebody to an extent that you had to kind of cut off because to an extent they were, <laughs> they were um, doing everything under the sun, but loving you, right? They were doing, um, they were calling shots and trying to. Control the situation. Oh, angels just said control their heart. Yeah, this person was doing everything in a relationship but loving you. And to an extent, that shit burnt you out. That shit, you know, drained you, you know, to the point where you detached. And then, you know, this here to me is almost like you finding new love. It could be an older woman, younger man, older man, younger woman. Ooh, for some of you, I just heard a uh, family coming in between your relationship. Maybe a dad not approving it. Ooh, interesting. Oh, okay. We got a couple of storylines here. <laughs> um, I feel like for some of you guys, you found love. You found Angels are saying she's the queen of the house. She's the queen of the home. So a lot of you could be mother figures or homemakers or, you know, um, head of household, the, the head of your queendom, right? And this page of cups here, to me, that's almost like somebody showing you love. Somebody expressing love towards you, but you're like, I can't do this. What am I going to tell my family? Like this dude is 20 years younger than me or 16 years younger. Like you're in your head. You're so, so, so in your head about this person, right? Um, angels are saying to me too, this is somebody who wants to be around. Somebody who I feel like this person has already said to you, has already kind of quote unquote, declared their love for you and has said they wanted to be around for the long run. But for some reason, Leo, there is something about this situation that you are not a okay with. Angels just said to me too, I feel like for a lot of you guys, for a lot of you guys, it's image. How will this look? What will people think? Right? Oh, and not only that, but you've been trying to end it. You've been trying to control it. You've been trying to leave it. You've been trying to get away from it. You've been doing everything under the sun instead of loving this person. And no matter how much you try to withhold or hold back your feelings, those shits are like a tidal wave. They're eventually just going to come rushing and flowing out of you. Oh, somebody is telling you what to do about this situation, about this love. That's why you're up in your head too, for some of you guys. Somebody is trying to tell you who you should be with, what what you should be doing. You're an older woman and you got all this money and this person's, hmm, this, this emperor here, this Aries is the reason why you're in your head, Leo. Angels are also saying to me too, it could be an ex-husband, right? Because especially here with the Queen of Swords, 
you've already done you've already gotten rid of this person but for some reason this person could still have uh influence over you i'm also hearing too that this is going to sound crazy don't take it uh verbatim but this to me is almost like you guys needing to think for yourselves right you need to think for yourself instead of having this person's voice inside your head right not only that but with the queen of sword here tw queen of swords here tw twice you know you've already to an extent quote unquote cut this person off have censored them but for some reason whatever it was that they said is still running around in your head it's still um it's still something you're thinking about What I'm also hearing too for a lot of you guys, it's almost like maybe you're seeing the bits and pieces of this person's perspective and understanding their perspective and to the point where it's like now they're inside of your head. So you're trying to figure out, do I leave this alone or do I walk away? And in this process, I feel like you've taken this relationship and maybe have put it on hold, right? You've put it on hold while you think and contemplate and just kind of really analyze what this situation means to you, what you need, what you want, your desires. Like you matter in this too. And to an extent, if you do have somebody who's, who's um, ha making you happy and loving you, right? Shit, why not go towards that situation? You know what I mean? Especially if, if the person is quote unquote worthy of your time and energy. And I really do feel like, in all honesty, Leo, that's the that's the that's what you're going to arrive at. You know, you may stop speaking to your family, by the way, right? Number one, you need to get them out your business. Number one, two, and three, you definitely need to get them out out your business. That four of pentacles there says to me that angels are saying you've been sacrificing so much of your life and your time for everybody else that it's now time for you to start getting some enjoyment, right? But definitely this person doesn't see your point of view. Wow, this is a really specific reading. You may not have been around your family, around your friends, going to family events, whatever the case is, getting on the weekly Zoom call. You, you have not been doing any of that, right? Um, and angels are saying it's just all because everybody has something to say. You know what I'm also hearing too, Leo? Um, if this is something that makes you happy and and it is there is a possibility for a long-term relationship, the only thing you should be focusing on is your part in that and your person's part in that, right? Because essentially that's what you want to last. That is what you want to grow right? So all of this outside chitter chatter, right? Affecting your mentality, affecting your love and affect, you know, affecting your relationship ultimately, right? It is beautiful and wonderful to consider it, right? To give them a voice. For some of you guys, you stop speaking to this person, I think I mentioned, right? But it's okay to, as an example, hear others' opinions, but there comes a point where you have to draw a line and says and say, thank you for your input. I want you to know I acknowledge and I hear what it is you're saying to me. But here's the decision I'm going to make for myself. Right. In other words, you have to kind of, quote unquote, stand up for yourself, not cut anybody off or alienate anybody. Just kind of put your foot down and all 10 toes and saying, Thank you, mama. Thank you, daddy. I appreciate it. But this is what I'm going to do. Okay? Let's see what the universe has your back oracle cards have to say. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I feel like whomever this emperor is, right? They're fearful of this person to an extent that they don't know. So maybe it's just a matter of these two, that, you know, your mama, your daddy, whomever, getting to know your person. And maybe that's what that three of cups is. Instead of saying, maybe, yeah, keep them away. Don't deal with your family. Maybe the three, the three of cups and the four of pentacles is saying, yeah, hey, maybe 
maybe introduce them and, and put them around each other and see if they can grow to like and love him, you know, um, him or her. Remember, energy is fluid. It's it's not male or female. Um, so, you know, it, it could be a matter of just bringing your person around them. But the other part of it, too, is if you do bring them, if you do bring your person around your family and they're disrespectful, no, sir, no, ma'am. I wouldn't bring my uh, love interest around no negative energy. Okay, I don't care if y'all do think y'all love me. If you love me, you don't treat somebody that way. Point blank, period. Oh, we're just looking out for the best of you. Not by being rude. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. I really do feel like, in all honesty, this is something that you're going to have to work on internally. Again, this is something that you're basically going to have to put your happiness in front of everybody else's happiness. And ladies and gentlemen, that's okay. And like if it were your kids, nah, I would debate you on that one. But your extended family, yeah, my happiness is coming first. Two cards. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Oh, really? Universe. <laughs> Step out of your comfort zone. North note. This is where are you going? Where are you headed? Again, this is kind of going back and saying, I found somebody who wants to love me and who wants to be with me. And, you know, yeah, I know the age difference is a factor. I know it looks crazy, but I'm happy. And, you know, I'm not signing away my car, my house, and my savings. I'm just, I just want to be happy. I just want to be in love. Okay. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.